Hola, it's Senora Huey, and it's time for Spanish. Let's get warmed up with the hola, adios song. Let's go. Hola, mis, hello, hello, hello. Hola, mis, hello. Hola, amigos. And then we'll do a goodbye song, adios. Adios means goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Adios means goodbye. Adios, amigos. Hola. Now, let's get started. We're going to review a little bit first, okay? Because, you know, we don't celebrate Halloween per se, but for the Spanish people, they do celebrate something called Dia de los Muertos. It's All Souls Day, All Saints Day, okay? So we're going to talk about that at the end. Let's do a quick review of what we have here. First of all, our conversación. Can I say for hello? What do we say for hello? Let's go. Hola, all right? What do we say? Well, what's your name? Como te llamas? Good. My name is... Me llamo. Then when I have a little dot, so you put your name. Okay, that's card one. And now I'm going to ask you, Classe, well, how are you? What do you say? How are you? Ah, como estas? And you're going to say, well, I'm doing well. They say well. Classe, what's the word? Bien. Okay, I'm doing okay. So, so. And the words are going to be two words. Así, así. Remember I told you, whenever there's an accent over any letter in Spanish, your voice goes up. I say, así, así. Huh? Repeat that. Así, así. Muy bien. But now, if you're doing okay, well, and then we got to do here, we got one say, I'm not doing so good right here. I say, mal. Not so good, mal. I got a tummy ache, mal. And then we're going to say goodbye. What we say for goodbye? And our song, we say what? Adios. Muy bien. Now, let's go over our numbers from one to five using the sounds and the names of the animals. Okay? Are you ready? Let's go. Lista. Okay. What was it? You remember? Now, first, we got to start off with our zero. No, there is a zero there, but there's no animal for zero. Okay? We're going to say, if I say, zero. Let's make a little zero. Make a little circle for zero. If I say, zero. Now, for number one, it's going to be the what? The cow. One cow. Casa de pita. Uno vaca moo. Good. And now for number two, we have two dogs, okay? And we're going to say, roof, roof, twice, just two times. Can I say, dos, what's the word for dogs? You forgot. Can I say, dos perros. Your tongue must roll. Can I say, repeat that. Perros. Hmm? Perros. The tongue is behind your teeth and you roll it. Perros. Ah, perros. Good. Can I say, dos perros. Roof, roof. Good. And we have three what? Cats. Can I say, repeat that. Gatos. Tres. Let's go. Tres gatos. Meow, meow, meow. Good. Say it again. Tres gatos. Meow, meow, meow. That's three times. Now, for number four, we have four birds. Okay. And the short word, word for birds, class is aves. Aves. More than one. Aves. Class A number four is cuatro. Class A the cuatro aves. Tweet, 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 and tweet. Try it again. Cuatro aves. Tweet. Tweet, tweet, and tweet. And the last one for today, class A, is number five. It's what? Cinco. And we have the horses. We're going to ride the horses. We're going to say boogity, 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 and boogity five times. Let's go. Cinco caballos. Again, cinco caballos. Boogity, 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 and boogity. Let's go from the top. First one's for zero. What do we say? Zero. Let's go. Uno baka moo. Let me see one thing in there. Uno baka moo. Two fingers. Dos perros. Roof, roof. Three fingers. Tres gatos. Meow, meow, meow. Good. Four fingers. Cuatro aves. Tweet, 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 and tweet. And five, all five fingers. So one hand class say cinco caballos. Boogity, 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 and boogity. Holy class A. Now let's go from zero to five. Zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go. Cero, and use your fingers. Cero, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Oh, I know you know. But do you know what uh, three animals we have this, this month? What three animals do we have? El Rey de la Selva. The king of the jungle is... El Leon. I say El Leon. Good. Then we have a cute little mono. So we have El Leon. And then we have what? The mono. Que está en las árboles. Y tiene un banana en tu mano. He goes through the trees and he has a banana in his hand. Huh? Bueno. And last one, I say, oh, it's so cute. I say, what? 
elefante. El elefante is grande. He's kind of big though, huh? He's muy grande. Muy bien. Let's go one more time. What do we have? El león, el mono, and el elefante. Buenísimo. Now, sabe, do you know que mes está? What month, what month is this right now? We're not fighting to our next month, so what month are we still in? Do you remember? Okay, classic, the month is what? Octubre. All right, now, octubre. Classic, octubre. Octubre, the month of October. Octubre. Okay, muy bien. And now, every three months belong to, the three, three months belong to each season. And so, what season are we in right now? What season are we in right now? Mm-hmm. And look at the pictures of clue. This is what? The fall, all the leaves will come and change colors, go and change colors, and then it might fall from the trees at that time also. Casa de Pizza. El otoño. El otoño. El otoño. All right, move in, class. So now the month of what? Octubre in the season. El otoño. Now you're going to learn four words that relate to the fall. Okay, four words. You're going to learn these words, okay? And because I want to give you just four, just four right now, just four. And the first class is going to be something that's delicioso, very delicious classic, and it's going to be the apple. Classic, la manzana. La manzana. Now, I mean, I see three colors, or well, four colors. I got a color for the leaf, a color for the stem, a little color right here, and I have the color of the apple. So we're going to learn four words for colors, all right? So now we're going to say, first of all, the big part of the apple is what color? Ah, see, it's red. So, class of the pizza, la manzana is, hmm? say it again, la manzana is, the, the apple is, class A, roja. Hmm? Say it, la manzana is roja, repita. Hmm? La manzana es roja. Good. Now, la oh, then you have a little leaf right here, clase, leaf here, clase. Let's say, let's give it a color, clase. Es verde. Los stem, clase, is going to be brown. And with a brown leaf before, so that'll be what? Café. And this little white here, clase, is going to be clase. Any idea what white is? Simple, muy fácil, clase. Blanco, blanco. So, we're going to say, roja, verde. Café, and let's use blanca because it's apple. Because it's blanca. There's a blanco, there's a blanca. Okay, but they both mean white. Okay, move in. Now, class, it's something you don't see a lot, but some people know what they are. These are called acorns, okay? Acorns. And the word for acorn is be. Okay, so it's called la bellota. When I see a double L like that, that's a Spanish letter. It's not a letter to us, but it's a letter in Spanish, I say. And it's pronounced like letter Y. I say, la bellota. La bellota is an acorn, all right? And now this color, this one looks a little bit greenish. I say green. So we're going to say, es verde. Acorn, la bellota es verde. Repeat after me. La bellota es verde. Mm -hmm. Now, next thing we have to say, in case the weather changes, it might be a little bit rainy or whatever, okay? And sometimes it might be too sunny, but still use the umbrella, class A, and it's called a full water. Therefore, class the pizza, la paraguas, because the umbrella is full water. Class A, la paraguas, la paraguas. And I have three colors here on the top, but I want, I have the orange here, we have the red, and we have the green. Now, green we've had twice already, so we know green is going to what? Verde. We also had the color red for the apple, so we know that's what? Roja. But you haven't had the color orange. And that's a color we're going to see about this time of year a lot. Class of the pizza. Anaranjada. Whew. That's a long word, but it's orange. Class say La paragua. La paraguas. Mega S. La paraguas. Es verde, roja, y anaranjada. Anaranjada. Very good, class. You got it? So we have the manzana, we have the, the bellota, and we have here the paraguas. And the last thing we've, we've had already was the leaf. Do you remember for the word for leaf? I gave a different color leaves last week and the leaves before, class A. La hoja. There it is. La hoja. Good. La hoja. This one has yellow in it, and it has orange, and it has red, okay? So we're going to concentrate on the color yellow, the color orange, and the color red. So we know that red we had before, class saying the color red, la hoja es, repita, la hoja es, and we're going to say la hoja es roja, hmm? la hoja es roja. Now, let's see, I just gave it orange over here from the paraguas. So that long word for orange is, I use my shoulders, a, na, ran, ha, da. Use your shoulder, a, na, ran, 
Anaranjada. Clase Anaranjada. Can you say a clase? Say it again. Anaranjada. Say it for me again. Anaranjada. Muy bien. So now we have here an anaranjada. And the new color that we have in here is yellow. That yellow in there. And the color for yellow clase is amarilla. Because it's oja. It can be amarilla or it can be amarillo. We're going to use amarilla because the word for leaf is oja. And it kind of sounds alike at the end. Muy bien. Let's go with the, with the names of the things we have here. Four words for el otoño. Four autumn words or four fall words. We're going to, go, we're going to say class of the first one. For the apple, we're going to say la manzana. Okay. Then for the acorn, we're going to say la bellota. Then for the umbrella, for water, las paraguas. And then for the leaf, you know that one. La hoja. Muy bien, clase. Excellent day. Now, I think it's time for you. Okay, I, I think it's time for you now, clase, to find out our word of the month, okay? Now, the word of the month, clase, is my friend, and we're going to learn the parts of them, too. We had them last week, so you know. La calabaza. La calabaza. Now, this calabaza has eyes, we have a nose, ears, and we're going to do mouth and do teeth, okay? And I'm going to call these some lips, okay? Some lips, okay? Well, we can speak and learn a word for lips. So now I want you to put your finger on your eyes, not in your eyelids, on your eye. Don't, don't hurt yourself, okay? On your eye and say, class A, oja, oja, oja. Put your finger on your nose and say, nariz, nariz. Put your finger on your ear and say, oreja. Oreja. Put your finger on your teeth and say dientes. Ah, I gave you a new one. Dientes, okay? Put your finger on your mouth and say boca, boca. And on your lips, we're going to do it like this. Say lips because it says labios, labios. Let's try it again. Finger on the eye. Ojo, ojo. Finger on your nose. Nariz, nariz. Fingers on your ear. Orejas, oreja, okay? Now for your teeth, class A, we go dientes, dientes for your teeth. And for your mouth, class A, the mouth, we're going to say boca, boca for the whole mouth, boca. But for your lips, we're going to say labios. We made the little black ones here, labios. And this is what? La calabaza, the pumpkin, the word for the month. Now I'm going to stop the video now, Class A, because you have an assignment. On your assignment, you're going to look on, on, this, on the post. You will see I have listed for you a little video about the Day of the Dead. The Mexicans, Central America, and South Americans don't do Halloween per se as we do it. They do the Day of the Dead, okay? It's not a scary thing. It's really about honoring your ancestors, all right? I want you to look at that and understand what the Day of the Dead is. But now I want you to be able to say it as well. So to say the Day of the Dead class, I want you to repeat El Dia. Can you see the El Dia? First word is El, the Dia, Day of. Day, El Dia, Day and then the day, Los Muertos. Los Muertos. I look at the video, and I'm going to ask you some questions. And you understand? You see, the skulls are not scary or anything. This is not Halloween, and we don't do Halloween. The Mexicans don't do that. We do It's called the Day of the Day, which is All Souls Day and All Saints Day. And you're going to find out what days they represent. It's not October 31st, and you're going to be surprised, all right? Okay, now, so adios. Watch the video, and I'll ask you some questions next week. Adios. Ciao, ciao. Adios. Ciao.